Let's talk. Guys, I must share the story with you before I go back to my studio and just review my impressions of the semi-final too. But I was so fucking nervous. Like I was so crazily nervous that you can't imagine. And the funny thing about this that the same day as the semi-final was happening, I was calling to my friend and I was telling like, no, it's they're easily qualifying. Like watch the odds, don't be nervous, it's okay, I'm alright. But I must admit that I was probably nervous for almost like three, three months. Of course, I'm talking about Czech Republic, but we made it. I think like we all must be proud. And it's shown that the way that we settled and the team continues to settling it up just works. And that means that other countries can as well join the way of Czech Republic doing things and stuff for Eurovision because I think that is really worth it. But it's as well a story for another video. Let's talk about the impressions from semi-final 2. What's up everyone, it's Jan Bors. new video. All the nerves are gone, but let me talk first about Czech Republic, of course, because I didn't even realize I shot the previous part of video this morning when everything was very, very fresh and I was digesting it whole day. I was thinking about it whole day and I was contradicting myself all time long. Was I nervous? Wasn't I nervous? Well, I was, because now I feel happy, now I feel like whew, everything is gone with the pressure and maybe you don't understand the reason why, because I'm not doing revision anymore, I have nothing to do with ESCZ anymore, I did nothing for the success anymore and still I felt like the part of the story still I felt like if this is going to be fail it's kind of my failure even that makes no sense but I really believed what what we built together with the team and that this happened this however it's going to be in the finals that is just showing that the way of ESCZ works that ESCZ makes sense that ESCZ is a platform built on something on vision on a bigger and deeper fundaments than lots of other shows and I don't mean basically Eurovision national selections but I mean in general you know there is something more behind the whole project than just having a song and I'm really glad that this approach works because all things are just based on approach and the very approach you have behind the cameras behind the scenes in building the project in selecting the artist and in the whole pre-production phase that is mostly more important than the project itself because the project itself is just a peak of the hill of those things. Anyway, I'm very glad that we make it to the finals. I'm super proud, super proud of the whole team, all the creativity. I think the best staging we ever had. Even I wrote on Twitter that I still feel that the editing would need more edits, more cuts. It can have much more tempo, but the vertigo shot that sold it completely and you can turn the lights on actually. Anyway, let's talk about other countries. There are so many surprises, like by odds there was only one surprise, so let's talk about this, it's Romania. And its qualification completely surprised me. Like honestly, surprised me, I didn't expect it. And I'm very curious where there's going to be a breakdown of voting, like how close or far it was from not qualifying, but Congratulations anyway, it somehow worked. For me, I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of this, but well, my problem only. And I'm glad for Romania that it happened because I think this country needed some impulse to go through. Only what I'm worried a bit that they will seek for those songs again. I still expect that they can bring much more. It's a huge country, it's a big country, country with talent. But anyway, I think any kind of qualification to grand finals makes sense however it was. I don't care. I think they should celebrate and they should enjoy even actually they work more because when you qualify from the second semi-final you then go for the jury rehearsal again and then you go for the public rehearsal you have basically no 
little time to celebrate. Anyway, that was a huge surprise. What was another surprise for me was Israel, but not Israel. I wouldn't call this a country thing. It's the Michael Ben David's behavior in the semi-final. And that was disrespectful to everyone. Please don't do this. Like, please show this as an example how not to behave at Eurovision. That would be great. But then I enjoyed the night. I also was a bit distracted of the camera angles, editing, lightning. Lots of staging felt flat. I don't still get the waterfall. For me, it's an element which is great when you have the classical music set. But for pop music, basically, it doesn't really work. It distracts me and I'm not really happy about the stagings in general this year. I feel disconnected from them. It feels ordinary and Eurovision should be extraordinary, which I don't get somehow. Even the music is great and we can talk, I don't know, let's talk about Serbia, which was great, but I think really suffered from this as well. It wasn't that great as, as it was in their national selection. And what I didn't really understand why there were subtitles only in fragments of this staging. I would really like to have it all the time because then it really makes sense. The whole thing makes sense and few people wrote me actually that they didn't really get it why there was so cleaning hands and clapping. Uh, so like it has like deeper meaning and it doesn't translate to people who really have three minutes and don't think about it like us or like me. Anyway, I enjoyed it. I'm glad it get, came through and I was very, very nervous about, well, this, did it really connect to the general audience? It did. However, it will end up in the finals. I'm very curious. I'm very curious about this. I'm very curious about this. However, I think it's a big success for Serbia again. Speaking about war falls and war and cleaning hands, let, let's let's stay with this war element. And that's Poland, that, that was so, oh my God, it was so much war. Like, I like the song, I like Ochman singing, really. I didn't really feel anyhow that he couldn't do it in the, in the semifinals, like that was for me 100% qualifier. Anyway, the staging was like, let's put more war, let's give it more ideas, more, like more, more is better than less. Like completely opposite of what I think. So for me, the staging is a bit mess or messy. I didn't enjoy the, the staging. I enjoyed his singing. I enjoyed his voice. And the staging for me, it was like, let's use every effect available, which I it, it was necessary. It didn't need it. I think less is more. And well, anyway, he came through. So congratulations to Poland again. What was a huge surprise for me, was Australia. Australia, not because I didn't believe that they couldn't qualify because Sheldon's voice is awesome. Like, come on. Even if fans won't vote for it, juries definitely would. I think fans voted for it as well because it was much better than the national selection. In the way that it wasn't that theatrical, it wasn't that pushing, it was kind of clear, authentic. It I felt it. I really felt it. For me, it was one of the biggest surprises of the qualifiers, not because it qualified, but because of vibe it gave me. Like, completely different vibe than I had from the national selection of Australia, the uh, Australian side. This was really an experience to watch, listen and enjoy. I enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed it. It brought a smile on my face again when I just remember it. What was surprisingly getting through for me was Finland. You know, the song really worked. I think it worked. What didn't work for me was staging but not because of the idea of staging but because of the lightning and I think it didn't really profit for how it's done in Pala Olimpico. It doesn't really work out and I was really really praying for Finland to get through because I think it was a great performance. Just visually I didn't really connect it because it, it looked flat. It looked flat, slow, unenjoyable kinda. Anyway I think the whole band saved the day and gave me what I didn't really expect another charismatic vibe which I lacked maybe from the music video maybe from the song itself which I wasn't a fan of but it worked and I'm glad the Finland is true because as well it say that this way works. Azerbaijan there's no need to talk about. I got goosebumps in first 30 seconds like this is authentic this works you know the the song itself doesn't really work normally but when you see it live, when you see and hear another singing that's completely different level. I don't even need such staging because I just want to enjoy him in close-ups and not because of his looks, but because of it brings. Belgium came through. It really sounds great live. Sounds 
great live vocally i think it's okay it's okay i saw it after all like three times because i wasn't sure and i think it was okay visually it was okay but the editing of the song was like boring and i was i was afraid when i was watching it first time live i was like this cannot go through because it's boring it doesn't really go with the vibe of the song it doesn't really work it didn't really work for me i would vote for it because it didn't really the the, the spirit of the song really didn't go through but then it came through for me maybe it was another surprise like there were surprises and wasn't surprises like like it was kind of strong semi-final after all like san marino for me didn't come through i didn't expect it i really didn't expect it like that san marino wouldn't come through because it it was uh it was great it worked like it worked i enjoyed it maybe it was too provocative and i got used to it but on the other hand it worked and i liked it it, it visually and sonically it was great so was it dropped i don't know because the semi-final was strong and only 10 places to go through maybe i could switch some of those songs from the semi-final one which was after all a bit easier to go through and that as well applies for ireland i think ireland that was a story of this year because everybody was a bit like yeah good song then after the pre-party tour everybody was like oh shit damn it like those vocals and live it was one of the best performances i've seen this year maybe not vocally super strong but definitely all right but visually one of the best stagings very simplistic with dancers dancers which made sense with charisma with this sassiness with perfect colors it was it was why man i'm very curious why it didn't go through maybe because of juries that what i would say and maybe the jury rehearsal the jury one was a bit different story than what we saw live so that's my guess but we'll see we'll see but definitely i think that ireland is on a good way and they should just stay what they're doing and just better every simple element of it to really go on the same level as czech republic in the way of what we built here malta didn't go through it didn't really work live for me i was curious about it because the song is not bad it's like super eurovision but vocally it didn't really work out and i think that was the biggest downside of this song and i think the same can apply for cyprus like vocally it didn't work like cyprus had a great prop it visually looked great editing side of it i don't get it it was so many long shots even the song is fast i don't understand why this was chosen what was the reason to not dynamize the song more but on the other hand i didn't really enjoy even the song i'm not sure if this both things really connect together the staging and the song and the singing for me it didn't really work out and it didn't qualify so maybe there's something on it but it's normal like not everyone must qualify but for cyprus i think it was for a long time like when was the last time when they didn't qualify when was the last time when they didn't qualify i'm not sure estonia guys my wife really liked it for her it was the best song of the night and i'm not sure if this apply only for women like like this god charisma stefan sang and looked great and it worked it worked it really was one of the best things of the night even it was very simple it just got the right energy it just got the right vibe sometimes less is more and maybe even nothing is even better and just leave it on artist just make his way through it it worked perfectly well and that of course georgia and north macedonia for me north macedonia was one of the best performances of the night vocally on the other hand it was over theatrical i'm not sure if this needed such a drama maybe it didn't and i would really be more glad with less back vocals because i would really enjoy it more raw on the other hand i'm not sure if the song was strong enough to really qualify but for me it really worked and you got a new fun so i think even this matter you didn't do anything wrong so that was the older songs i really want to talk about yeah that's it so just a big summary impressions something i like more something i like less anyway congratulations to all of you who make it through i'm very proud of each and everyone who were in the semi-final too it was super hard semi-final and no one really did anything wrong so thank you to all for a great experience and for the rest of you don't forget to comment under my video what you think about the semi-final too don't forget to subscribe to the channel and support 
the Ukraine in the description below you can find the ways how you do it. And that's all from me from now and thank you for watching. Bye.